Hi, my name is Bree Clark and I'm a software expert. Today I'm going to show you how to allow more than one user in a Microsoft Word document. Now you can't actually include more than one user in a Microsoft Word document, but what you can do is go to Review and turn on Track Changes. I'm going to do that right now in this document. And then I'm going to take a look at the changes after I make them. So we'll start by uh, changing it from fiscal year 2013 to 2014. And we'll just change something under annual report, um, like put an asterisk in here. Now, when I go to reviewing pane in the review toolbar, I can show that vertically and I can see three revisions that have been made so far. I can see that I deleted 2013 and inserted 2014, and I can see what I changed in that title. I can actually right click and reject that insertion if I want to. So I just rejected the insertion of 2014, which changes this back to 2013. Right now, I'm only one user in the document, though. Let's see what happens if I compare this with a version that someone else was working in. To do that, I'm going to close the revisions pane and then go into Compare, and I'm actually going to choose Combine here. The original document is the one I have open right now, Sample Annual Report, and the revised version is one I have here called Sample, Sample Annual Report Jane Changes. And then I'll click OK. And what Word is going to do is merge those documents and allow me to accept or reject the changes or the differences between the two documents. It's finishing up right now. So I'll go into my revisions pane and I'll see the differences. So here's my original document on the upper right, my revised document on the lower right, and the combined document. So I can go in and select change by change and either accept or reject. So I'm going to reject this change with the asterisk. And then I'm going to scroll down and look for other changes. And I don't really see anything major that I need to change. My name is Bree Clark. I'm a software expert. And I just showed you how to allow more than one user into a Microsoft Word document.